Ever wondered what Losartan is and how it affects your body? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. Losartan, a name that's become fairly common in the world of medicine, is a medication that's often prescribed by doctors across the globe. It serves as a knight in shining armor for individuals battling hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. But that's not all. Losartan also plays a crucial role in protecting the kidneys from the long-term damage caused by diabetes. Imagine a shield defending your kidneys against the onslaught of a chronic condition. That's what Losartan does. Its importance in the healthcare sector cannot be overstated, as it's been a game-changer in managing these health conditions. Now with that basic understanding, aren't you curious to know more about how this medication works? Let's dive deeper into the world of Losartan and explore its effects on our body. So, how does Losartan work in our body? Losartan, often prescribed to individuals suffering from high blood pressure, operates in a fascinating manner within our bodies. It's a type of medication known as an angiotensin receptor blocker, or ARB for short. Let's break that down a bit. Angiotensin is a hormone that your body naturally produces. When this hormone binds to receptors in your body, it causes a chain of events that ultimately leads to the constriction or narrowing of your blood vessels. Now, this is a normal bodily function, but when it happens too frequently or intensely, it can lead to high blood pressure. This is where Losartan steps in. It's like a key that fits into the lock of the angiotensin receptors in your body. When Losartan is introduced into your system, it competes with angiotensin for these receptor sites. Because Losartan fits these locks but doesn't turn them, it effectively blocks angiotensin from binding to the receptors. This action is often referred to as competitive inhibition. By preventing angiotensin from binding to its receptors, Losartan stops the hormone from constricting your blood vessels. This leads to a relaxation and widening of the blood vessels, a process known as vasodilation. Vasodilation has a couple of beneficial effects. Firstly, it decreases the overall blood pressure in your body because your blood now has more room to move around. This means your heart doesn't have to work as hard to pump blood through your body, reducing the risk of conditions like heart attacks and strokes. Secondly, vasodilation increases the supply of blood and oxygen to your heart. This is especially important for people who have heart conditions, as their hearts need all the oxygen they can get to function properly. So, in essence, Losartan works by blocking the effects of a hormone that can constrict your blood vessels, leading to relaxed and widened blood vessels, lower blood pressure, and increased oxygen supply to your heart. And that's how Losartan helps in managing blood pressure and protecting your heart. Like every medication, Losartan also has some side effects. It's important to understand that these side effects are not a guarantee, but a possibility that varies from person to person. Let's start with the common ones. Dizziness is a frequent side effect of Losartan. This usually occurs as your body adjusts to the medication. If you experience dizziness, it's best to rise slowly when getting up from a sitting or lying position. Fatigue is another common side effect. It's normal to feel a little tired as your body works to control your blood pressure. Now on to the more serious side effects. Although rare, Losartan can sometimes affect kidney function, especially if you already have kidney disease or are taking certain other medications. Symptoms may include a change in the amount of urine or swelling in your legs or ankles. If you notice these symptoms, it's crucial to seek immediate medical attention. Allergic reactions to Losartan are also rare, but they can be serious. Symptoms might include rash, itching, severe dizziness, and trouble breathing. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's important to get medical help right away. Remember, these side effects are potential risks and not everyone experiences them. Most people take Losartan without any problems. It's also important to note that in some cases, side effects may lessen over time as your body gets used to the medication. Lastly, it's worth emphasizing that you should never stop taking Losartan or any prescribed medication without first talking to your doctor. They can help you weigh the benefits of the medication against any possible side effects and guide you on the best course of action. Always remember the benefits of Losartan usually outweigh these side effects. So while it's good to be informed and aware, don't let potential side effects deter you from taking a medication that could significantly improve your health. Did you know your diet can impact how Losartan works in your body? Yes, it's true. What you eat can either enhance or hinder the effectiveness of Losartan, 
a common medication prescribed for high blood pressure and kidney disease in people with type 2 diabetes. First up on our list of foods to watch out for are those high in potassium. Losartan can cause your body to retain potassium and eating a diet high in this mineral could lead to a condition known as hyperkalemia, which is an abnormally high amount of potassium in your blood. Hyperkalemia can lead to serious heart problems, so it's best to avoid foods like bananas, oranges, tomatoes, and spinach when you're taking Losartan. Next, let's talk about salt substitutes. Many of them contain potassium chloride instead of sodium chloride. So, if you're using these products to cut back on your sodium intake, you might unintentionally be increasing your potassium levels. It's always a good idea to check the label, and when in doubt, consult your healthcare provider. And what about that evening glass of wine or beer? Well, consuming alcohol while taking Losartan might not be the best idea. Alcohol can lower your blood pressure, and when combined with Losartan, it might lead to a drop in blood pressure that's too drastic. This could make you feel dizzy or faint, particularly when getting up from a lying or sitting position. So it might be wise to skip the alcohol while you're on this medication. Lastly, grapefruit and grapefruit juice are also on the caution list. This tangy fruit can interact with many medications, including Losartan, by interfering with the enzymes that break down the drug in your body. This can increase the amount of medication in your bloodstream and intensify its effects, potentially leading to more side effects. So, as you can see, your diet can have a significant impact on how Losartan works in your body. Be mindful of what you're eating and drinking, and don't hesitate to ask your doctor or pharmacist if you have questions about food and medication interactions. Remember, food plays a crucial role in the effectiveness of Losartan, so eat smart. So what should you eat while on Losartan? You might be wondering about this if you've been prescribed this medication. Well, the answer lies in maintaining a balanced diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains is what you should aim for. Why, you ask? Fruits and vegetables are packed with essential vitamins and minerals, which are vital for your overall well-being. They're also low in sodium, which is a boon for those on Losartan. You see, Losartan is a medication that helps control high blood pressure, and maintaining a low-sodium diet is key to managing this condition. But don't just stop at fruits and veggies. Incorporate lean proteins into your meals as well. Think skinless chicken, turkey, fish, and legumes. These are not only great sources of protein, but also contain heart-healthy fats. And let's not forget about whole grains. Foods like brown rice, oatmeal, and whole grain bread are excellent sources of fiber. Dietary fiber is known to help lower your blood cholesterol levels, further aiding in the control of high blood pressure. Now, while it's important to know what to eat, it's equally crucial to understand that moderation is key. Eating too much of even the healthiest foods can lead to weight gain, which can in turn increase your blood pressure. So portion control is a must. It's also worth noting that while Losartan can help manage your high blood pressure, it doesn't mean you can eat whatever you want. The medication is there to assist you, but the primary work needs to be done by you through maintaining a healthy lifestyle and diet. In conclusion, while on Los Artin, strive for a balanced diet that's low in sodium and rich in fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. It's not just about taking your medication as prescribed, but also about supporting it with the right nutrition. Remember, a healthy diet complements your medication and aids in your recovery. Let's quickly summarize what we've learned about Los Artin. This medication is primarily used to treat high blood pressure and kidney disease in individuals with diabetes. It operates by relaxing blood vessels to allow for smoother blood flow, thereby reducing the strain on your heart. However, like many medications, Losartan does have side effects. These may include dizziness, fatigue, or minor digestive issues. If you experience severe side effects, it's crucial to consult with your doctor. When it comes to your diet while taking Losartan, there are certain foods you should avoid. High potassium foods, for instance, can interact negatively with this medication. On the other hand, maintaining a balanced diet featuring lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can complement the medication's effects and support your overall health. And that wraps up our exploration of Losartan. Stay healthy and informed.